So we all know that Realty Income Corporation is the GOAT when it comes to real estate investment trusts. It's a dividend aristocrat with 30 years of consecutive dividend increases. And while Realty Income does an excellent job of owning properties that are operated by businesses that the majority of Americans use on a daily basis, we should be interested in diversifying our REITs into other types of properties. So in that spirit, here are five different real estate investment trusts nobody's talking about that might be the perfect complement to Realty Income Corporation. All right, the first REIT we're talking about today is Mid-America Apartment Communities Incorporated, ticker symbol MAA. So Mid-America Apartments is a real estate investment trust which owns multifamily homes throughout the Southeast, Southwest, and Mid-Atlantic regions of the United States. As of June 30th of 2022, they owned in 16 separate states, 296 communities and in total over 100,000 homes. Here's a map of where these properties operate. There's definitely a concentration in states like Texas and Florida and the concentration is definitely away from the north, northwest, and northeast. So this is a REIT with 13 years of consecutively raising their dividend every single year. Currently priced at 168.34 a share, they've got dividend growth rates over 14%, 7%, 6% and 6% over the past 1, 3, 5, and 10 years. Current yield is 3.33% against a historical average 5-year yield of 2.94%, which is a total discount based on their historical 5-year average yield of 12%. And from a payout ratio perspective, based on free cash flow, they're only at 63% over the trailing 12 months, which includes our big drops in 2022, and a one-year ratio of 75%. They pay dividends quarterly in their most recent annual dividend, $5.60 per share. All right, second week we're talking about here is Digital Realty Trust ticker symbol DLR. Digital Realty is a unique way of diversifying your REIT holdings. Number one, because it's not related to residential living or type of commercial business like what Realty Income does. Instead, they're focused on being the world's largest data center platform. The reality is the world is becoming more data centric with the cloud and so much data online. And considering how many businesses out there that exclusively operate online, AWS from Amazon, Google Cloud, IBM Cloud, the Oracle Cloud, etc. This truly is a unique way to diversify. Over 300 data centers in 50 metropolitan areas, 25 different countries on six continents. I mean, just look at this map here. What a way to diversify not only your REIT holdings, but also where your properties are located throughout the world. Digital Realty Trust is a dividend contender and have been paying dividends and increasing that dividend every single year now for 18 consecutive years. Currently priced at $110.76 per share, their dividend growth rate is actually a little bit more in line with Realty Income at 5.2%, 4.2%, 56 and 5.3 over the past one, three, five, and 10 years. Current dividend yield is right along there with Realty Income as well. 4.41% currently with a historical yield of only 3.63%, which is an 18% discount. And their dividend payout ratio based on free cash flow is relatively stable. 77% over the past year and the trailing 12 months, 84%. Remember that when we talk about real estate investment trusts, we know that they have unique tax elements to them. And by law, in order to bypass the corporate tax on the business, they have to pass through to investors at least 90% of their taxable income. So we should not be as concerned when we see real estate investment trusts with elevated payout ratios. Digital Realty Trust, with their focus on data centers as opposed to regular commercial businesses and not residential properties, is a unique and great way to diversify your REIT holdings. And looking at the top 10 industries for realty income, you'll notice that grocery stores and convenience stores, dollar stores, make up the majority of the portfolio. And there's a much lower percentage of properties that are quick service restaurants, drugstores, casual dining, home improvement, et cetera. Which brings us to our third real estate investment trust we're talking about here that nobody's really talking about, and that is Four Corners Property Trust, ticker symbol FCPT. Four Corners Property Trust is a New York Stock Exchange listed REIT primarily focused on the ownership, acquisition, and leasing of restaurant and other retail properties. Over 1,000 properties, 131 brands across 47 states. Heaviest investment is in Texas, followed by Illinois, Ohio, Georgia, and Florida. Now, to be clear here, there is a little bit of focused ownership, though they are working on diversifying their holdings through acquisitions. Their primary focus is on dining right now, and 41% of the portfolio 
is 312 different Olive Garden restaurants, followed by an 11% steak or 115 different Long Horse Steakhouse. Then we have 81 units, which are Chili's restaurants. And then the rest are made up of other restaurants, 310 different units, 57 different brands. And then they also have other Darden units and other non-restaurant retail properties. So it's a real estate investment trust focused on restaurant properties, but not ultra luxurious restaurants. And here are the types of properties they're diversifying into. Properties like Buffalo Wild Wings, 41 properties, Chili's like we mentioned, and Burger King. And here are the other types of brands they're looking at. Pernero Bread, KFC, Arby's, Starbucks, Outback, and more. Four Corners Property Trust is a dividend challenger, meaning that they've been paying dividends now for at least five consecutive years and increasing their dividend consecutively now for seven consecutive years. Their current price is $28.44 per share, and their dividend growth rate is very similar to realty income, 4.1, 5.2, and 5.9% over the past one, three, and five years. Their current dividend yield is higher than realty income at 4.78%, against a historical dividend yield of only 4.39%, which is effectively an 8% discount. And they also have a dividend payout ratio based on free cash flow of 86% over the past year, and over the trailing 12 months, we dropped down to 79%. So, so far we have diversification away from realty income in the form of significant amount of residential properties, data centers, and a restaurant focused REIT. All right, number four on our list here, Cousins Properties Incorporated, ticker symbol C, U Z. So how is Cousins a unique way to diversify outside of realty income? Cousins Properties develops, owns, and manages a 20 million square foot trophy office portfolio in the high growth Sunbelt markets of Atlanta, Austin, Charlotte, Dallas, Nashville, Tampa, and Phoenix. And those are unique locations. These are places people are going to. They're leaving places like New York, California, etc., and coming to these types of states. Here's some of the unique elements to these types of cousins' properties that are owned. 90% of them are leased, average year built 2004, and 34% of the portfolio is less than five years old or recently redeveloped. And you can see that the majority of the portfolio is in Austin, Texas and Atlanta, Georgia, with diversification across other different major metropolitan areas. These are the types of properties you're looking at here in Atlanta, Phoenix, Tampa, Charlotte, Atlanta, and Austin, high quality commercial properties. Here's further affirmation like we were talking about, Zillow's hottest markets of 2022. These locations, these cities, are where people are moving to. These are the hottest real estate markets. And where the majority of the projected population growth is for 2023 through 2027. Austin, Texas, Phoenix, Arizona, Nashville, Dallas, Charlotte, and Atlanta. And it also coincides with quite a few different corporate relocations and expansions from Google, Tesla, Amazon, Toyota, Visa, Microsoft, Airbnb, and more. Cousins Properties is a dividend challenger with six consecutive years of dividend growth. Their price is currently $26 per share, and their dividend growth rate is amazing. 36.6, 21, 33.5, and 21% dividend growth over the past one, three, five, and 10 years. Their current dividend yield is 4.92% against a historical yield of only 2.83% which is effectively a 43% discount. And if you look at both their trailing 12 month and their one year payout ratios based on free cash flow, ultra low. Of all of them so far, I would say that Cousins Properties might make the least amount of sense given the type of diversification away from the types of properties that Realty Income does. But at the same time, there are some unique elements here, especially the dividend growth rate and the dividend yield, which make it somewhat attractive. All right, number five here on the list, the one with the highest dividend yield and one of the most unique ways to diversify away from Realty Income, and that is the National Storage Affiliates Trust or ticker symbol NSA. So what exactly is National Storage Affiliates? It's a self-administered, self-managed real estate investment trust dedicated to the ownership, operation, and acquisition of self-storage facilities. They receive ongoing contributions from its participating regional operators, or PROs, via third-party acquisitions and joint venture partnerships. They own and operate over 1,100 different self-storage properties across 42 states plus Puerto Rico, which makes them one of the largest owners and operators of self-storage facilities in the United States. And here's a breakdown of where those properties are located. Quite a few in Texas, followed by California, 
Oregon, Georgia, and Florida. In the same way that realty income is unique because a lot of the properties they own are recession resistant and that they are the types of properties that people still frequent even if they're struggling financially. In the same way, self-storage facilities have a very unique stickiness as well. So National Storage Affiliates is on a seven year consecutive dividend increasing streak. Their current price per share, $41.91 per share. Their dividend growth rate, very awesome as well. The one, three, and five year dividend growth rates, 35.2, 19.2, and 15.6%. Current dividend yield is 5.25% against a historical five-year average yield of 4.04%, which is a 23% discount. And their payout ratio based on free cash flow, very stable at 65% over the past year and 52% over the trailing 12 months. Remember, one thing you always need to consider when it comes to owning REITs is if at all possible, you should own them in a retirement account or a tax advantaged account, specifically a Roth IRA or traditional IRA, 401k, et cetera, because the taxation for most REITs is at your ordinary tax rates. Make sure to leave your two cents down in the comments below. It's my goal to respond to as many, if not all comments I receive on the day I post a video. That's all I got for you guys in this video. Have a great rest of your day. Hope you got a ton of value out of this video and thanks for watching.